in today's lecture we shall talk about different types of electrophilic substitution reactions and their mechanistic principle so here are five different types of electrophilic substitution reactions first one is nitration second one is sulfonation third one is halogenation fourth one is ferrel crafts alkylation and the last one is ferrel crafts acylation so in first reaction the attacking electrophile is nitronium ion so this is a charged species so this will not be available in any uh, packing so it means this nitronium ion will be produced by reacting of some species so to produce nitronium ion two reagents can be used one of them is nitric acid and other one is mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid so in first case two molecules of nitric acid react with each other and they produce a nitronium ion and in second case nitric acid act as a base and sulfuric acid act as an acid so by reacting nitric acid and sulfuric acid this nitronium ion is produced so in first case the rate of reaction will be slow because one molecule of nitric acid will be acting as base and the second molecule will be acting as an acid so this mixture is also known as fuming nitric acid so when we talk about the reaction of this uh, uh, procedure so here we shall write nitric acid and sulfuric acid will be reacting as a catalyst and the temperature for this reaction is 30 to 40 degree celsius so in substitution reactions substitution mean one atom or group of atoms is replaced by an other atom or group of atoms so we know that benzene has a molecular formula as c6h6 so during substitution reactions one of hydrogen of benzene is substituted by attacking electrophile so in this case this proton will be replaced by nitronium ion and the product will have c6h5no2 molecular formula and during this reaction water is produced as a by product if we talk about the yield of this reaction the yield for this reaction is 95% now we shall talk about second electrophilic substitution reaction so in sulfonation uh, sulfuric acid or sulfur trioxide plus sulfuric acid so both of these reagents are used as sulfonating agents both of these reagents will produce acting electrophile which is so3 so if we talk about equation for this reaction sulfuric acid will react with benzene and we shall get benzene sulfonic acid and again just like first reaction water will be produced as a by product and if we talk about yield of this reaction so usually this reaction is progressed in 100% yield and the reaction conditions just we need to heat this reaction or we just warm this these reactants and we will obtain our required product the third case is halogenation halogens mean fluorine bromine chlorine and iodine but usually we shall talk about bromination and chlorination because fluorine is too much reactive and iodine is too slow to react so in this case uh, the species will be bromine so for this one we need ferric bromide as a catalyst and you have studied in previous classes that bromine can easily be polarized one bromine will be partial positive and the other one will be partial negative so bromine in bromine molecule one atom will act as a uh, acting electrophile and the product of this reaction will be bromo benzene and uh, by product of this reaction will be hbr the yield of this reaction will be 60 to 
five percent. And the next reaction is Friedel-Crafts alkylation. In Friedel-Crafts alkylation, alkyl halides are reacted or treated with benzene in the presence of aluminium chloride. So, in general, we can take any alkyl group and catalyst will be AlCl3. So, this reaction can proceed at 0 degree Celsius and in product we shall obtain alkyl benzene and uh, byproduct of this reaction will be HCl. The yield of this reaction is 60%. The last one is acylation. In acylation, acyl halides are treated with benzene in the presence of aluminium chloride and reaction is conducted at 40 degrees Celsius and the product is acyl benzene and byproduct will be any halo acid. If we are using Chlorine, we shall obtain HCl. If we are using here bromine, we shall obtain HBr. The yield of this reaction is 88%. Okay, so one thing I want to add here, the working electrophile in this reaction will be bromine positive, Friedel-Crafts alkylation, working electrophile will be carbocation and in these reactions, the working electrophile will be acyl group. The mechanistic principle of electrophilic substitution reactions. So here we are taking an arbitrary example in which E stands for an electrophile and B stands for any nucleophile. So in these type of reactions, Electrophile carries partial positive charge and benzene's electron density will attack on this electrophilic part and the bond between E and Y will be broken up and the bond pair will be shifted to Y. So in this case, this attacking electrophile will attach to benzene ring and at one position of benzene there will be a positive charge and this Y will be lived as negative charge entity. So from this, there are two possibilities that how this intermediate is further involved in the reaction. So here we are taking two possibilities. The first possibility is that in which this negatively charged species will abstract proton of benzene ring and this bond pair will be shifted to benzene ring. So if this route is being followed in these reactions, the product of this reaction will be a substituted product in which one proton of benzene will be sacrificed and will be substituted by attacking electrophile. The second route that we can assume is the role of this Y as a Lewis base and it attacks on this positively charged carbon of benzene ring rather than to abstract this proton. So if this reaction follows this route, the product of this reaction will be something like that at one position of benzene ring, uh, there will be an electrophile and at the other position there will, there will be negative part of this molecule. So what is difference between these two products? This is a substitution product and this one is an addition product. So if we talk about the stability of these two products, this product is more stable. The stability of this molecule belongs to retention of resonance or aromaticity of benzene ring. So this species is stable due to retention of resonance and this molecule is less stable because there is no complete resonance of pi electronic cloud in this ring. So it means this reaction route is not followed due to less stability of this reaction. So that's why I am 
going to cross this route and also be uh, marking this arrow as shaded direction because due to uh, less possibility and less stability of this product. So if we talk about this species, this is a reactive intermediate. So you are very much familiar with the role of reactive intermediate. As you know that during the course of reaction, when reactant react with each other, so when they collide with each other, there are two possibilities. Uh, either their collision will be effective or ineffective. If the collision is ineffective, the reactants will bounce back without any progress. But if the reactants are colliding in a positive way, so initially they will form a reactive intermediate and that reactive intermediate will be converted into product. So during organic reactions, stability of carbocation is very much important because the nature of product is totally dependent upon the stability of carbocation. So now we shall discuss the stability of this carbocation. This carbocation is named as a cyclohexadienyl ion. This is also called as arenium ion. This is also termed as sigma complex. So any one of these three terms can be used to describe this cation. So this cation is stable. So now we shall discuss the stability of this cation that how this cation is stable. This carbon carries a positive charge. So during previous lectures, we have studied a condition for resonance that when p orbitals are parallel to each other, they will definitely involve in delocalization. So this uh, carbon has a p orbital and this p orbital has positive charge. And uh, this double bond is formed due to sharing of each electron by these two carbons. So when these, uh, this p orbital gets involved in delocalization with this p orbital, so its electron and the electron of next carbon will be shifted between these two carbons. So now I'm going to assigning numbers to these carbons that will make easy for us to describe. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So the bond between carbon number three and four will be shifted between carbon number two and three and there will be a positive charge at carbon number four and the bond between carbon number five and six is retained as it is. So again, we can see the p orbital on carbon number four and p orbital on carbon number five and six. So actually all these carbons have p orbitals and all p orbitals are parallel to each other. So these orbitals can also be involved in delocalization. So in this case, in first, uh, this pi electron was shifted between carbon number two and three. And in this case, the pi electron between carbon number five and six will be shifted between carbon number four and five. So the pi electronic cloud is uh, shifted here and this carbon will get positive charge and the carbon number one will not be available to be involved in substitution because this carbon is no more sp2 hybridized this has four bonds fourth bond is with hydrogen so it means this delocalization is limited up to carbon number two to carbon number six in benzene ring the delocalization of pi electronic load is from carbon number one to carbon number six so this molecule is stabilized, but this, this cation is not as much stable as benzene ring. So there are two reasons. One of them reason, one of the reason is that uh, this is a carbocation. This is not a neutral species. And the second reason is that the delocalization if this positive charge is not spread over the whole ring because one of uh, carbon of benzene in ring is no more in sp2 hybridization. So it means this sigma complex, this arenium cation or cyclohexadienyl carbocation is stabilized by delocalization of positive charge from carbon number two to carbon number six. So this is the reason of substitution that we have already discussed that if this uh, uh, negatively charged species abstract proton, the product will be an aromatic entity. And if this uh, attacks on positively charged carbon, the product will be non-aromatic uh, species.